Hi, I'm Betty Hurley Dasgupta, and I'm here to give you a video tutorial on how to create, publish, and share a journal. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is, is right now we're at moodle.esc.edu, so we're at the Moodle page, and we want to get into Mahara. So all you need to do is to click on the Mahara link on the right hand side. You don't need any other username and password for Mahara. What this brings you to is your dashboard. And uh, for a later exploration, there are some videos here, or you can actually just click on ePortfolio, where there are videos and other information about uh, ePortfolios. But I'm going to focus on the journal part. And for that, the first thing I need to do is to go into content. So uh, let's click on content. And the first thing it brings you to is uh, information for your profile. Uh, you're certainly welcome to fill that out. It would be great, actually, if you do click on profile pictures and at least put in a picture of yourself. But we are going to just click on journals at the top. And as you see, I've already got a number of journals. Uh, in the beginning, you won't have any. Um, so what you would want to do is create journal. Um, but don't expect to see other things here. So let's go ahead and click on that. And the first thing you want to do is to give your journal a name. So I'm just going to call mine sample and a short description. And you can use tags if you wish, but that's really if you have a lot of, uh, of content in journals. And let's just go ahead and create it. Okay. Now it's created, you'll see it listed. And um, the first thing you probably want to do is, is to put in an entry. So you can open your journal. Um, actually, you want to click New Entry. And here we are at New Entry. So let's just go a hello here and something really creative like I like Mahara. Once you've put in your, your uh, certainly much more creative and interesting entry, you would go down. And um, you can attach a file note, which is really um, helpful, um, and save your entry. Uh, leave to allow comments, because uh, I think it's always good to um, encourage as much interactivity as, as possible. That brings you back to within the content page showing your journals. And um, and there's your, your journal there sample. Now note you can add a new entry here. Um, so um, that's one way to enter it. And But I'll also show you another place once you've published your journal that it's easier to go and uh, put new entries in there instead. But you uh, can always go to content, journals, pull up your journal, and add an entry here if you wish. So. Now I have my journal created, but anything that's in content is not published, which means that everything in content only you can see. So now you have to publish it somewhere so that other people can see it, like your instructor if you're doing this as part of a course. So the next thing we want to do is to go to Portfolio. And as you see, I've created a good number of pages here. I've already done quite a bit of publishing. Your first time in, um, you will see your dashboard page and your profile page, but you won't be seeing other pages. So what we want to do is create a page. Notice copy a page is possible here. So you can click on that, and all copyable pages will come up. And you can certainly search under my name, and you're welcome to copy any page. So you may want to play around with that. But right now, you want to create a page to publish your journal. We need to give uh, the page a title. So let me just say my journal page. And um, I don't need to put into the description is, is optional. Tags are optional. And we can just go ahead and save. And what it brings you into is immediately an edit mode on your journal page. There is a separate video on uh, just creating a page. So I will not go into a lot of detail um, here. As you see, there's a lot of things you can do in terms of publishing. I'll just mention really the minimum in order to uh, publish your journal. 
So uh, the first thing you probably want to do is to edit layout because the default is three columns, which I find to be a little bit too noisy. So I usually go for two columns equal widths, and I, I do recommend that one. But uh, certainly if you want to say do the three columns or one column or whatever, it's, it's fine. It's really up to you. The other thing you may want to do is to select a theme. Um, I like primary. It's a darkish blue. And you can play around with that as well. And as you see, the theme changes immediately as you do it. And then the next thing that I, I would want to do is to go to journals. You see there are a lot of other choices, but let's focus in on that. And this is specifically to publish your journal page. There are a number of choices here, but you really want the first one. You do want to display your entire journal. And this is how you put publish things to your page. It's very easy. You click on the image, drag it down into the page, release you will get um, then a dialog box. Um, for the title, you can click on this, but, but actually most times you want to just use the name of your journal. And then go down here, and uh, in your case you probably will only have one choice, um, but I'm going to select my sample journal. And then I have to scroll down a little bit. Now entries per page, you can you can put in whatever number you want, but I usually put in two or three. Um, uh, otherwise, uh, it's, it makes the page a little bit uh, more cumbersome. If if you have more than three entries, what happens is is that it turns it into a um, a gallery, so people can just press an hour and and see all of your entries. And go ahead and save. And there it is. There's my first journal entry. Note there's a place here for comments. Um, and here, note what I had said before is you can click on this and put in your new entry, um, which is nice. Okay, and go ahead and save that. Now that just brings you back up to sample. So if you do want to go back to your page, you'd have to go up to portfolio and go back into your page. And you see I've got it here, my journal page. And there it is. So you've created your journal, you've published your journal, but still you are the only person who can see it because you've published it, but you have not shared it. So there are a number of ways to share a page. Probably the easiest is to just to go back into edit the page and go up to share page. And um, now here you can um, share as you see with a, a good number of, of, of people. Um, and uh, you, you can do that. You can select pages. You can add public. If you want to share with a group, if you belong to a group, you can do that. Uh, you want to probably go down and share with other users. And then if you um, have a particular person to share with, you can do, uh, do that. I'm going to go back up, though. Um, well, let me just uh, put that in to show you. So if I wanted to share, for example, with Susan Oaks, there her name comes up and I can add her and note that that shows up here twice because I clicked twice. But let's go back up to portfolio and what I want to show you is actually another way uh, in which to share your page and for your courses I think this is probably a good idea. So the way I got there is to go to portfolio, shared by me, and then all my pages come up. And um, so my sample page is, is here, and you can see that um, it's right now shared with Susan Oaks. But um, and here, if I clicked on this, I'd get back to that same page I had. But note that there's another choice here, which is called a secret URL. And what that means is, um, I'll click on and show. It gives you a URL for your page that you can then share. It makes it 
so that you control who can see it because only people have that URL can see it. And that's what we're going to use right now for courses. So I clicked on add and here's my URL. I just need to copy that and um, I can paste it in um, a message to someone or an assignment area or wherever you want. Um, you don't have to worry about holding on to it. You can create multiple um, secret URL so you can keep doing it or you can certainly hold on to it and then uh, continue to share it. And that is all you need to know in order to create, publish, and share a journal page. Now I encourage you to go right into Mahara and try it. You, know, you may want to watch the video a couple of times. Um, it is a fair number of steps, but once you get used to it and once you set it up, you'll be all set. You'll just have to add new entries and share the URL whenever uh, you, you want um, people to see it. But for right now, we're just going to log out, which takes us back to our Moodle page and you can go on from there. Thanks and enjoy Mahara.